What's up guys? Well, last night I did a bunch of work on my buddy's truck and I made a video of it and I was going to upload all that in, you know, just by itself, just to work, but you guys have seen it a thousand times and since I didn't get it uploaded last night, I decided to just do a run video of it and test it anyway because I haven't tested it yet. So we're just going to show you what all we went through last night and uh, look at these guys just chilling here. I didn't know what they were staring at. It's Scarlett Johansson. We got a black widow hanging out, climbing a wall in the garage, and they're just staring. Oh, wait a minute. No, they're not. They're not even looking at her. They're looking at this new RC rack they just bought. No. <laughs> I got this rack that goes with Scarlett Johansson. It's supposed to hold her in the air in case you want her up in the air. and You can adjust it up and down, and I decided that's going to be their RC rack. That's pretty cool. Anyway, so back to where we was at. G-Man's truck here, he told me that the front differential wasn't working or something wrong with it. I thought he meant gear, but the gear was fine. It just, the servo stripped completely out. When you would hit the button, or even when you just turn the truck on, it went, the motor was just spinning. But the gear was totally gone to the front diff. So we had to put him in a brand new uh, uh, small servo for the differential. We got that all taken care of. But he... I don't think he mentioned to me that the motor wasn't working. I don't know how long it's been since he run the truck, but it had to quit on him because there's a magnet sticking out in the back. I can probably shake it and make it come back. There, yeah, you see it right here. See that chunk of magnet? Now it's gone. And now you see it, or metal, whatever it is. This motor, it wouldn't do nothing. It won't even try to go. Like when you have a dead battery, I had steering, I had all the other features but I did not have forward or reverse or nothing. So the only real motor I had, I got a Trailmaster there, but that one's not that good. I wore it out. Um, this is one of them. I think these come out of the Enjora chassis. It's a 35 turn. So we're slowing the truck down. So I did go ahead and bump up the gearing one because the high truck comes with a 10 tooth pinion. The stock TRX 4s and stuff come with an 11 tooth pinion. The other ones, the regular, you know, Blazer and, and uh, Bronco or whatever, they come with an 11 tooth that I always reduce anyway. But anyway, I went ahead and took this up to an 11 instead of the 10 that this truck comes with because of the 35 turn. I figure it's going to be slow anyway. So we'll give it a little, little bit of a gear jump, not much. Oh yeah, one more thing before we go out. I always wondered what my high trail would look like if I'd have got the red one. Now we know. I actually wanted the red one when I bought mine, but I, they were new. You couldn't find any of them anywhere, and I got lucky and found the black one when I did at a hobby shop instead of ordering. So I took the black one, and, and I love my black one now. I don't know that I want the red one more or not, to be honest. But now that I'm looking at it, though, I do like the red one. I mean, with all the setup I got, I got the red shocks already and everything. I don't have the red and black axles, but that's cool. I didn't want the red and black axles, to be honest. So anyway, what do you guys think? You like the red better than the black? Here's the black one again, just so you can see it. Boom. I don't know. It's a hard decision. I like my black one, too. I don't know. I would almost ask him to trade, but I... It's too much work to trade, take all my lights and stuff out, so I can't do that. I am thinking about buying a clear body to paint it like the Fall Guy truck still. So, even though the Fall Guy truck paint job is not my favorite design or color, but I just like TV show cars and trucks. Alright, let's see. Let me put this back up here. Oh, what do it look like side by side here? One has stock suspension, the other has the Desert Lizards. Stock ones are adjustable as far as your height and right, you know, your, your tunability, you got the adjustments. You can loosen the spring to make it softer or raise it up, vice versa, you know. Mine, you have to get inside there and change the setting, the, the stuff inside if you want to do any of that. But I have them tuned perfect for what I believe, anyway. So now... If you put them side by side, now the, the stock tires are definitely bigger. So, that's for sure. But they still sit the same. So, I, I suppose that means that my shocks are probably up a little higher than his. Because 
you can see he's got a taller tire way taller tire but our turn signals and stuff his is actually looks a little lower than mine in the front his does sit lower in the front than the back mine actually sits a little higher in the front than the back not that i like it that way that's just the way the the weight of it works out i suppose but i think they both compare pretty good as far as except for that like watch this here's his suspension raised all the way let's see let go there you go take mine and go up here like that I think these are 120 millimeter, maybe. I think stock's 110. These are 120. I'm not sure. Look at that. Even when you drop it, it comes out slow. You see that? It, when it's dropped, it doesn't just go boing. The tire's a bounce, but the suspension is still coming down slow. That's badass. So, all right, guys. Let's get out and do this test rip. Well, all right, we made it outside. It's the next day. Also, I'd like to say happy 4th of July weekend, everybody. This is Sunday, time of filming this, and I think the 4th is Tuesday, right? So it's close enough. So my first rip with the truck, let me go ahead and show you this real quick. Uh, that's full speed. It's really slow in a 35 turn, you know. That's full speed with low gear. And then high gear is not too bad, but it's still slow. But, let me drop her back in low and look at that torque. It's got monstrous torque compared to normal. For a little brush setup on a stock ESE, I need to change it to crawler mode for them because it's got the tap for reverse thing, the double tap. I hate that. I think this motor is not a bad fit for a two-speed truck. And my buddy G-Man doesn't need to go any faster. He's hard enough on his rigs. He just, the faster it goes, the faster he can get across things and tear it up, right? <laughs> I'm just giving you a hard time, buddy. Hey, if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have much to do sometimes keep me busy <laughs> honestly this is the first rig I've worked on in weeks month over a month other than mine and I haven't even worked on mine really barely but like I've said before I'm very excited to get me a TF2 body of course I got one guy that always likes to give me shit he obviously thinks I'm too stupid to be able to put a TF2 body onto a G-Man 80. Always gives me hell when I talk about doing something. Like I don't know how. But that's part of life. I've only got one of those in my fan club, so that's okay. I hear that thunder in the background. It's getting ready to cut loose. It's been cloudy for the last couple hours, but it's also 90 goddamn degrees. Excuse my language, but man, come on. I know it's supposed to be hot on the 4th of July, though. The heat index today is supposed to be 105, almost. 104, 105. And that's why I didn't come outside until now. I seen the sun was gone. I'll tell you what, this truck crawls really good with this motor. Maybe I should have used it sooner. I was holding on to this one just in case I needed it later, but I mean, it's nothing expensive. Other than the motor, um, this is a completely stock truck. The servo I put in is, is the same ass stock, so that doesn't change anything. I'm 
little body rub. I cut that part of my fenders off on my black body. Doesn't flex like them desert lizards do, they're a little bit stiffer. Yeah, you know, I like tracks this and all, but I think they're getting carried away with these high trails. And I know that their chassis works fine, so it's great. But I kind of think it's time for them to at least come up with a new one. At least give us one new crawler that's a complete rebuild and let us see how it does. So I had to stop for a second. My wife was hollering that the oven's done. I got to get in there and finish up dinner. I just realized I don't have any drag brake on this mode either when I was on my teeter-totter. So I need to change it to uh, take care of that. Go ahead and unlock my diffs, see if I can make this turn up here without moving. There we go. It's completely blind on the other side. You never know if you're going the right way or not. Okay, you see here, there is no drag brake. It's just the wood holding me stopped because these don't have it in crawler mode yet. So this could Take a little extra reverse, just keep me going. Oh no, let's just go. <laughs> you know what? Let's go for it. With these big tires, I think this one should be able to do this right here. I gotta hurry up though, because my oven is waiting on me. Okay. Take two. I got no weight down low on this truck. I hate that double tap and reverse stuff, don't you? All right, I'm trying to get this on video, but I'm also trying to not tear it up. Almost had it this time, let's see. Oh yeah, there we go, we, I think we got it now. Oh man, oh no. <laughs> I hadn't been out here for a while, so I, I suppose it was coming loose up top. That's all right, we got us a new obstacle now. I might just put this down somewhere down low anyway, instead of it going uphill. I might take this thing in the house and use it as a test obstacle. That's pretty cool, actually. I like that. Sorry, right, guys. Uh, I got to get in and finish dinner. So I will catch y'all on the next one. This fixing to cut loose on some rain anyway. Again, I want to wish everybody a happy 4th of July. Be safe. Don't go burning nothing down and light off all them illegal fireworks that y'all been buying you know you got them just don't tell nobody <laughs> happy fourth of july peace